you can uh, easily switch the, the pallets. Hi guys, Adam from Workswell. As we got a lot of questions asking about the various operating system, I've decided to show you and explain you what it means. Generally, you can imagine your mobile phone. All the settings is available at any time. You can adjust your mobile phone according to your needs. The same with our various cameras. You can adjust the settings according to your applications, according to your mission. You fly 200 meters away and you need to adjust something, change the palette, uh, the visualization or anything else you can do, basically at any time. Let's have a look practically what it means for you. So firstly, the connection. Uh, generally the cameras are mostly used on drones of course, but they can be used also in the office. I can simply connect HDMI, USB stick for my keyboard and power supply. It takes around 15 seconds until the camera is in operation. As you can see, camera is on and I can basically start my operation. I made a cup of tea to show you and demonstrate the functions. I will not go too deep, I will not show you all the functions we have in our various operating system. I just want to show you how easily you can access to all of them. So I'll put my cup of tea here and as you can see Everything is black, everything is black around. Everything is in automatic mode, so uh, you can easily fly. But if you fly somewhere, you don't know in advance what's gonna be there, what's gonna be the surface temperatures. So you need to be able to adjust them. And therefore, we have the various operating system. You can easily access to all the functions during your operations. Now, I need to switch to my manual mode because I want to see some details on my cup more clearly. So I can adjust the cup of tea according to my settings here. Here we have, we have for instance, the, uh, the inspection layout, but you can switch to full screen layout because many of you wanted to have as biggest image as possible so when I switch now to RGB, you can see full screen RGB image. And when I try to zoom in RGB to my cup of tea, now you can see how precisely and quickly we zoom in the camera. This is very, very important function for inspections. And as you can see here, the yellow area, this is the area what my infrared covers. So when I open the menu again, I change it to inspection mode. I will switch back to, RG back to RGB. I will zoom. I will switch to my infrared and I will zoom again. And here is the yellow area. So I can see very precisely when I fly, what is my area I cover. It is very, very, very important for my operations. I will repeat what I'm doing now. You can do the same uh, during your operations. Maybe you think it's too complicated, but we've got also shortcuts. It means if you go to the settings, there is communication interfaces. And you can set if you wanna with your S bus, scan bus, uh, muffling, trigger, what you can do if you wanna trigger, if you wanna capture the image, if you wanna record the video, if you wanna change the palette, it doesn't matter. It's really up to you how you adjust your camera according to your applications. Because in advance, you don't know what's gonna be there, what's gonna be the surface temperature. You need to adjust during your operations. So we went outside 
and we turn on the camera and the drone and you can see the image that is uh, transmitted wirelessly of course the camera is on and it's out in automatic mode it means that it's very very difficult to recognize myself I'm standing there because there is a sky which is very very cold minus 40 degrees or something so it saturates here so what you can easily do is to switch the manual temperature range on and you will be able to see very very sharp image of myself and the house behind me without settings of a manual temperature range is very difficult to to recognize me and find the leakage or the the, the hot spots you you're looking for I can of course I can take images I can take images, I can take radiometric video, the GPS position is uh, stored as well in every frame, in every image, so it's then very useful that you know the GPS position. You can move in the menu, I forgot to activate my thermal frame, it's activated, and now when I zoom, you can see the yellow button on RGB so I can see exactly where is my thermal zoom which is, which is very very helpful for industrial inspection to see clearly where I am focused So guys, is it clear? I hope so so, uh, if you have any questions about compatibility or about the system, technical parameters, let us know via email, Facebook, LinkedIn, it doesn't matter. So, have a great time and see you soon.